Society organizations, CSOs, are long-time development partners working at the forefront to solve many of Africa's most pressing development challenges. The meeting in Accra also focused on the need to equip CSOs with knowledge and ideas on the African Union Free Movement Protocol. The presiding officer of the African Union Economic, Social and Cultural Council, Mr. Dennis Corley, said the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Area demands that all protocols on free movements are enforced. We are meeting here at the civil society organizations in collaboration with the GIZ of Germany uh, to see how we can regionally you know, sensitize, educate the civil society organizations and the fraternity uh, so that they are aware of this continental initiative. And we are also requesting the CSOs who are participating here to ensure that this kind of information spreads down to the, to the grassroots so that the ordinary uh, African person or African citizen is aware of these great initiatives that the African leadership are making at the continental level. A representative from the ECOWAS Commission, Mr. Albert Boateng, said only five countries so far use the ECOWAS biometric card, a situation he says needs to change in promoting the ease of movement within the sub-region. It's to replace what we call the handwritten travel certificate which obviously for security reasons, you know, it's actually fading out. So the heads of state or the authority actually did think through um, this to become a reality. And as we speak, we have only five countries that have implemented it. We have the Gam uh, sorry, Senegal, we have Guinea-Bissau, Ghana, Benin Republic, and the Gambia. So I know work is still in progress in some of the other member states like Sierra Leone, Liberia and the likes. The meeting was to also empower the civil society organizations to keep governments on their toes in implementing the continent's free movement protocols in facilitating trade and development on the continent.